Hello everybody, welcome back. So, if it's true, there are politicians all left Washington, D.C. a couple of days ago. And I was told it's the same time that the jet went missing. But nevertheless, if they have, you know, and, and this is all just speculation. And there's a lot that speculate that they're going underground. Yeah, that, that could be. But why would that be? Because they know something we don't. You know, there is so much going on, it's hard to decipher it all. Uh, unless you have a special anointing from God. And I know that some that do, enter the stars is one. An eye for an eye um, is another. They really do, and they do what they do well. But for the rest of us, we listen to them, which is what I do. Uh, well, I mean, I, I'll weigh everything first. I just don't, you know, buy it all because that's what they say. But they're usually right on most of the time. Um, did they go underground? And if so, where? Well, I thought they'd just go underground in Washington. I don't know. I don't think there's probably a well. Could it be that Washington, D.C.? Do you think that maybe Putin could finally be honoring his word when he said he's going to strike? Uh, I'm going to paraphrase here. He's going to strike the head of the beast. He's going to. So, well, the head of this beast is Washington, D.C. It's where it's won for, run from, ran from this country, as well as New York City. So, they come to Denver, Colorado with the DIA airport to go underground. You know, there's been um, articles and videos about DIA, and I'm familiar with most of them and have been for ever since DIA was built. Uh, I lived in Denver, or in the suburbs at that time. No people that worked on there. I was in a construction business then. Don't know. Got some eerie, uh, eerie uh, things in that DIA airport. That's for that's for sure. And I do believe there are underground tunnels connecting cities. And I'm pretty sure that if if Washington D.C. is destroyed, that Denver will be the capital. Um, of America. Uh, all this is speculation, but uh, deductive reasoning, maybe. So, so what should we be doing? Well, I'm not here telling anybody what to do other than stop sending you. I can preach at you. But what to do when you individualize, that's between you and Yahweh, Elohim. You need to have a close relationship with Yahshua so that you can pray, talk to God, hear from Yahweh. He's your Father in heaven. I'll tell you what to do. But if you love this world, Babylon, and the things of it, that he tells us that if the love of the world is in us, Love of the Father is not. You can't love both at the same time because the world is of Satan. And that's why the elite and the kings of the earth fascism call it whatever you want communism, Nazism pretty much all pretty close to being the same thing. In essence, what? Put everybody in slavery. Take away your freedoms. So, what should you do? Well, if it were me, that's just me. I wouldn't be nowhere near Washington, D.C. come September 23rd. You know what I mean? I ain't saying pack up, move. 
Yeah, I've been telling everybody, if it was me, I'd leave. I don't care if I, whatever city you're in, I would leave it, which I did 13 years ago. Better pray about it. Serious as a heart attack. Anyway, blow the trumpet in Zion. Danger is coming. Prepare for the battle. Because our enemies are coming for us. Can't hide. <laughs> you can't hide from the beast. Only Yahweh can hide us. And that's if we obey the gospel, repent from our sins, and follow him. That's pretty easy. Unless you love, unless you love the world. The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. This is a serious time, folk. And I'm serious. But guess what? He says, count it all joy when you are afflicted and persecuted, persecuted for his name's sake. Let your door, joy be full. And you can do that. If you know that he's protecting you, he says, obey the gospel. The last days, he says, the remnant are those that have the testimony of Yahshua and keep his commandments. And they ain't the ones we pick and choose. That's all of them. except the ones that pertain to the old temple rites and the priesthood, because that changed from the tribe of Levi to all of us who are saved, who are kings and priests. And we have a king and a high priest, Yeshua. Anyway, high watch alert for September 23, whether anything happens or not. I don't think anything's going to happen where I'm at, because I'm, I'm at where God brought me to seven years ago. Is that number seven again? Seven years of plenty and seven years of famine. You know, we've been warned by many people way before now. I've been doing this for 35 years, warning of this day that would come. Not necessarily September 23rd, but the hour of his judgment the last seven years. Give praise to Yahweh Elohim, for he will protect his people and his people that love him. He says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. So, could this mean that, oh yeah, we're, we're, it's about Christians. It's about 